today we're going to be focusing on their Dream Curls range. So they've got a specific range for curly hair and it is so good. I've been using it for over a year now and you guys already know I love the products but I just wanted to give you a little bit more and share the love with John Frieda. I'm so happy that they are working with me on today's video. So stay tuned to see how I use the Dream Curls shampoo, conditioner, uh, curl defining cream and the secret weapon finishing cream to achieve gorgeous bouncy defined curls So what I love about these is I've talked about them in previous videos But I love that the um, shampoo really cleanses my scalp and gets all that product build up out of my hair But it still leaves it hydrated and moisturized. So it doesn't completely strip your hair of natural oils It just it's a very good shampoo specifically for cleansing and hydrating curls um, and then we've got the conditioner, amazing conditioner. It's really good to aid detangling hair because it's got a great slip to it, but it very much hydrates my curls as well. So they're two really good shampoo and conditioners for curly girls. I always start with the shampoo, cleanse my scalp. I don't put it on the ends of my hair. Wash it out, apply the leave it, uh, leave it, apply the conditioner, detangle my hair, and then wash it out. Super good together. When I want really soft but defined curls, this is the routine I stick to. So, once my hair is all brushed out and nicely wet, I first go in with the Frizz Ease Dream Curls Curl Defining Cream from John Frieda as well. Um, and now this gives softness but lasting a hold, which is something I definitely find. And I love the slip on this product. So, I normally apply... Well, I kind of start small and then build up because you don't want to... Um, squeeze out too, many, too much products and then not use it all. Start with about this much, depending on how thick your hair is. Get it nice and moving through the hands. Also, can you see how it's got a little bit of a stick to it? That's gonna give the hold. What I like to do first with the product is drag it through my hair. So you wanna be raking it through. Um, and the reason you do this is it's gonna get all over your entire curls and define and hydrate every single strand of your hair. You don't want to be missing parts because then some parts will be frizzier than others. So, also don't smush this into the roots, but you can drag it through the tops to make sure you're getting, um, you know, some hydration there and making sure it's not frizzy for later. Now, one thing people always forget is the crown and the base of the skull. We don't want to do that. We want to pull away from the base of the skull. It's going to give you volume. But it's also going to just really hydrate that area because a lot of people complain about having bad curls at the back. So this is going to help that. Still got more left. Um, and you want to pull away from the crown of the head too. Don't neglect that part. Now what with whatever's left, I like to just kind of apply that onto the roots. So before, we were raking it through to ensure that it was getting all over our entire hair. But now we're going to apply the curl defining cream by scrunching it into the curls to give hold and enhance your natural curl pattern. I have to start on each side. So I'm going to start scrunching. You want to make sure there's no residue left. So really scrunch until it is all in the hair. Now... A sound like that is a good sound. It means you've got enough hydration in your hair. It means that your hair's not going to be dry. And also, when my hair sounds like that, it means it's going to be super defined and very shiny. What I love about the Curl Defining Cream in particular when it comes to styling creams is it's very lightweight. So, you're not going to easily over apply product and your hair's not going to feel oily and heavy and droopy. This product don't forget the crown, is so good because it's very lightweight, but it provides enough moisture and hold to really enhance those curls. This is what I do to get the volume. So as you can see, that cream made my hair so beautifully defined and it is so bouncy. Like these curls are so gorgeous, every single one. Curled to perfection. So what I'm going to do is start massaging the scalp. This is just going to break up the curls a bit. It's going to ensure you get that volume at the top of your hair. So I'm just going to do this. Shaky, shaky. Okay, and I'm going to go a bit lower. Maybe like back towards the crown of the head. 
And just a touch, it's only slightly damp, like the slightest bit. Um, Fudging up those curls, and as you can see, we're already starting to get a lot more volume. Now let's do the bottom section of the hair. Okay. So, as you can see, we've already got a little bit more volume. Except I like to do is kind of gently run my hands through the ends to break up that part of the hair. This is going to separate the curls and just allow a little bit more volume because it's more separated. Now your curls should start to look amazing. Mine are looking so gorgeous and really nice and fluffy, which I love. So next up, if you take it a little bit too far with the fluffing um, and you want to tame a little bit of frizz if you happen to get any, that is when I like to go in with the Frizzies Secret Weapon Finishing Cream. So this is also from John Frieda. I love this product. This is probably my third bottle. I'm nearly finished as well. Um, but what I like to do with this, it's specifically for sealing in the hair to eliminate frizz and flyaways and it's got avocado, in, um, avocado oil in it as well. So I like to take a little pea sized amount, really just rub it through my hand so the product gets nice and warm and you want to just kind of lay it over the fuzzy parts and then you can scrunch it in. Now you don't want to add too much of this product because a little goes a long way and it does such a good job at just refreshing that hair on um, the next day or just getting rid of any of those frizzy parts. So I like to just give it a good scrunching where it's needed. I'm very happy with the results of today's wash routine. So let me give you a close up of these gorgeous curls. Really nice, nice spirally ringlets, very bouncy and shiny. You guys know I absolutely love John Frieda products and this is the simplest, easiest routine, but it always gives me such good results. 